Tiger Woods hated this drill, and I'm sure you will too, but it has huge benefits. Let's transform your game. Hi, I'm Bill from Phoenix Golf, and today we're going to talk about the pause drill. We've heard Tiger Woods talk about it a lot over the years and how he hated doing it, but it has huge benefits to your game. If this is your first time on the channel, I ask you to press that like and subscribe button as it'll help me grow the channel. Uh, it really does make a huge difference. I know everybody says it, but it really does, and I would really appreciate it. So let's get into it. So the pause drill, you've all heard about it, but let's talk about some of the huge benefits that it can, that it can help in your game. One is it can help you really stay connected. Uh, so your arms aren't getting disconnected from your torso and your everything is moving all at the same the same time The other thing it has huge benefits for is your transition So if you're somebody who's taking the club back really really fast and then your hips are firing too quickly You're gonna usually leave the face too open and then if not You're gonna have to like do early extension or you're gonna have to flip it to get that face closed The other thing uh, before I show you the drill I kind of show you a benefit too of kind of like making the drill even more difficult, but it can have even more benefits. So the hardest thing is to really make sure you're getting that pause at the top. I would definitely start without a golf ball and then kind of graduate to, you know, 80% shots because if you're not used to doing this drill, your timing is going to be way off and you're probably going to leave the face wide open and it's going to go hit into the bay <laughs> to the right. So uh, even on a simulator, you know, you want to make sure you're staying in your area. So the biggest thing for me getting that pause drill is uh, I try to even make sure that my face isn't too closed or too open. Like if I'm going to do a drill, I'm going to make sure I, the other things I'm doing are, are lining up with what I'm working on too. So for me right now, I've gotten into a bad habit of starting off my golf swing with my face too closed. And so for me, it feels like it's wide open, but really it's, it's, it's right on. And uh, another thing you can do is like I have a block here. And so I just kind of line up with that block making sure that the face is even, and then I kind of move it over to my practice area, just kind of reinforcing that look of what a proper club face looks like. So anyways, let's get back to the tiger drill. So the biggest thing you want to do is I try to actually count to one when I'm up there to make sure that I'm not rushing it. So for me, get to the top, one, then fire those hands, fire the hips, kind of leave everything. Um, as you can see, everything works together. Uh, you're not, um, if you're somebody, like I said, who's going too fast and you're just kind of like going like this and everything's disconnected, moving around, that's not what you want. So this way, this drill is so helpful and you've seen lots of people demonstrate it. So I'm not going to go and you know hit a bunch of golf balls doing it. But the biggest thing is, you know, to get to that top position, get there one and fire through. I always try to feel like this left pocket's getting pulled back. Everything turns and my arms fire first. A way you can kind of even make sure that this drill is even working better and even stay more connected is the towel drill, which I go back to all of the time and I highly recommend it. I mean, you don't even need a towel. You can tuck your shirt up underneath here, but for, for me, I'll use the towel for right now. But you put that around you and then by doing this pause drill, it really helps you feel connected. And I guarantee once you start hitting golf balls, uh, you'll feel a lot better and you'll be kind of that... Uh, not that sloppy feeling sometimes people get. I know I get that too. Where nothing feels right. This will help you kind of get back on track. So again, to the top, one. And making sure that towel stays with you. I can feel everything is very connected. One. And going through. I guarantee doing 10, 20 of those swings, you will start to feel very connected. And your timing and transition will be a lot better. So again, if you like these videos, tips, drills, stuff I'm talking about, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe to help me grow the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Good luck in your next golfing adventure.